What's up, YouTube? Tony Million, Ultra Steam Carpet Clean. Hey guys, I want to thank you for uh, watching my videos. Um, also, all the comments that I'm, we're starting to receive. Um, I greatly appreciate the feedback, some of it criticism. Totally love it. So keep it coming. Let me know what you like to see. And uh, please like and subscribe and share my videos. All right, so we're on our first job this morning. Uh, we're over here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Just wanted to show you guys what we got. I've got Makai in the house already vacuuming. Let's go hey, take Nick. Show us what we're going to be cleaning today, Nick. All right, come on in, guys. Got a hot pink carpet with a lot of hot urine in it. <laughs> hot pink carpet with a lot of hot urine in it. So we see lots of urine. Lots of urining from a female dog, which is good carpet cleaner. No, they yep. are high uh, ammonia levels. Their urine is a lot more potent than a male dog. We'll right. so do what we can. We're going to use a serum CU on this peroxide-based uh, formula that we get. We love that, right? We love that. Uh, homeowners also using some of their own enzymes don't seem to be working too good, too good, but they are working. I promise. So Makai's on the vacuum, and we'll be cleaning this area, this hallway that Makai is currently vacuuming, and then we're going to be cleaning this room. See some more staining. Um, smell of vision would be great. Doesn't have it, and. We're going to be cleaning this recliner, this rug, that rug, and that runner. You see a little spot right there on that runner, right here. So, all right, guys, let's get to it. Got the CRB, going to get some Serum CU on these spots. We'll be all right. right. So we're using the CRB. We have pre-treated with um, Serum CU, and I mean, I use an entire gallon of Serum CU. So now we're agitating. Scrubbing in some of that serum CU, you can tell that this is already starting to come to life. We're still going to let it dwell. We're going to give it the proper dwell time, 30 minutes at least. So we're looking at our watch right now. I've got 11.09, so we won't start extracting this until at least 11.39. That'll give us time to pull up our vacuum hoses in, um, even maybe even have some conversation with our homeowners. Um, so we'll see where we're at, but I wanted to show you what we got. We're going to start... Getting more CRB video. Still see some yellow in there, so we'll give that that proper amount of dwell time. All right, we'll be back. So we still have some yellowing in here. This is just after the Serum CU and the CRB. No extraction yet. I do suspect that there may be some color loss with this, but you know, we'll uh, we can only do what, what what we can do, right? We make sure we educate our homeowners. Let our customers know what our expectations are. It's always a good idea to um, to never create a situation where you know customers are expecting everything to go away. That's never a good idea. So under promise, over deliver is always the best approach when it comes to cleaning. So let your customers know that some of these uh, yellowing may be permanent. That is due to color loss. It's almost the same concept as bleaching a fiber. It's it will, stain, it not will a stain. Spot. It's a stain, not a spot. And when you've got homeowners that know the difference between the stain and the spot, half the battle's already won. So we're gonna let Makai continue to uh, CRB while while he's doing that. I've already pre-sprayed these rugs. That's been pre-sprayed. That's been pre-sprayed. That's been pre-sprayed. Pre we're gonna we're gonna extract this while this is still uh, soaking. Now, the last thing that I that I didn't mention, we are also going to add another pre-spray after the serum cu is set for maybe 30 minutes and i'll tell you what time it is right now it's 11:23. i know we put the serum cu down at 11:09, so it's 11:23. we're going to give it 30 more minutes or so maybe even longer then we're going to pre-spray the carpet again with soap daddy biospray 08 i added a booster powder which is a sodium percarbonate so it's another oxidizer so it's another uh another form of, of peroxide it's just powder peroxide and we're going to put that down and we're going to see what we can get out. Again, maybe some color loss, but we do not want to leave any urine behind in these fibers. So we'll be back when we get to the extraction. Hey, everybody. Um, so I wonder if everybody shows all the horrible stuff that happens when you own a carpet cleaning business and your own equipment in a van. Um, it's not so glamorous all the time. So right now I'm broke down. Uh, it looks like I have one of the hoses on my butler that runs the radiator fluid, or I should say coolant. It runs the coolant all the way back to the heat exchanger uh, that line busted so um, I pulled on it and I think it just dry rotted just guessing 
but I'm gonna show you what we're working with. So homeowner's renting his driveway, he wants to make sure that he's got coolant that's uh, running down. But right up under here, there's the coolant hose that runs from there. This is the upper radiator hose. There's a lower one right here. You can see where it's ripped off and there's the hose. So you see the hose is pretty jacked up. So it kept leaking. Um, what it was doing was it was causing a slow coolant leak, which I kept finding irritating. And then the van would, of course, eventually overheat because it lost enough coolant that uh, the system wouldn't stay cool. So now I've got to replace this hose line. It runs down in there. Um, anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know that it's not always glamorous. Um, respectfully, I've got a great homeowner who was uh, is very understanding, followed us on YouTube, so they're Buckeye fans like I am, so um, very understanding. Uh, how am I resolving this problem? Number one, I've got another cleaner who's a good friend of mine in the area on his way with his van. We're gonna clean it, we're gonna clean it out. We're gonna finish the job with him. Um, usually when something like that happens, we end up having to split the job 50-50. Um, not a big deal. I'm not too concerned about the, the loss of income or, or, or anything like that, because we can always make that up. Now I've got to figure out how I'm gonna get my van home, uh, AAA, tow it to the house, maybe tow it to a mechanic. Don't know exactly, but we'll get it all figured out. But I will show you the finished results and how we finish it, because I think I believe in letting you see everything. So we'll be back. color loss right there. Um, we did discuss that with them. Um, their expectations uh, were very low uh, about yeah. trying to get that, that yellowing out. Uh, they were hopeful, but their expectations were low. So we made sure that we did not raise their expectations regarding it. So we can still see some faint yellowing. Uh, we did, now we will groom all this out. We, we love grooming. The only time we don't groom the carpet is when uh, the homeowner requests that we don't groom. Hey, Makai, you want to grab those corner guards out of his way, please? Thank you. You can set them closer to the door. It's okay. He's all right. He's okay. What do you think, Justin? What? What do you think it looks like? Okay, you video. Video for me. Let me let me play. Let me. <laughs> you see how we? So we love carpet cleaning so much. We fight over the wand. We will literally. I'll be like, let me have a wand. Be like, back up, man. Let me get some more of this. Hey, it's my truck now today. It's like carpet you're cleaning. Right. <laughs> We love it though, that's, but that's what you want. You want passion. If you get a passionate cleaner, the rest of it comes easy. Because a passionate cleaner is gonna take their time to do it right, yep, and use the right stuff. It's amazing, holy cow. That's different when you're just showing up Absolutely, 
And I think it shows. I think it does show. I think you can tell the people that are just interested in getting your money. I think you can tell. Right. And explain what they're doing like that. Right. Well, we appreciate that seriously. But we are an ultra steam clean family. Well, we love it. Ultra Steam has um, a lot of support, and we wouldn't be, I mean, I wouldn't be any good if I couldn't call Justin either, right? right. Think about it. I'm so, all I mean, about support my local firefighters and local mom and pop companies. We love it. Makai, you're going to make more than that for Unless I'm in the NBA. Unless you're in the NBA. <laughs> I can do it when I retire. You can be your firefighter. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. So we're rinsing through some heavy urine areas now. We want to rinse it as good as we can. Now, our our products have been dwelling for probably just over an hour now. You think? Well, with 11... I'm pushing about an hour and a half on the food. It was 11.09. You said 11.30 last video. It was 11.09 when I put the the first... Uh, when I, it was 11.09 when I put the serum CV down. Pull that over, guys. You're right. So it's, that's 2 o'clock now. Yep. All right, we're going to make a couple phone calls. we got to have somebody come pick us up. Uh, Triple A's coming to keep the van. Uh-oh. All right, so like I said, I'm, I was hoping that I was wrong, but I can still see subtle discoloration. Now, is it as bad as it was? Nowhere near. So it looks pretty darn good. There is some color, some color defect though now. As the homeowner, the stain didn't bother me. I knew it was a stain. It was the smell of urine. I wanted a good flush with a good oh dry. Oh my, that looks, uh, I knew it wasn't going to come out all the way. That looks a hundred times better. Though. There's a smell of urine. All I smell is a kind of neutral odor within the free spray and what the truck's putting out. Right. Yeah, it looks way better than it That looks really good, though. Near a star. Yeah. And it's got its luster back. Unfortunately, now we have pink carpet again. If you could put something down with some kind of like red or something, I would. You'd love that? Right. That would be awesome. I love this guy, man. If it wasn't for this guy, I mean, I'm telling you, my business would not be successful without without people like Justin because he's had to come help me before. It wouldn't be successful without you either, Makai. Look at Makai. I'll call him back when the leaves start to fall. He can come right to the backyard too. Get him. He raked the carpet so well, we'll have him raking leaves. You might have to get on the other side of that dresser. Yeah. Wet bar. Wet bar. That's the wet bar. Yeah. Stop the grab and try to go past. <laughs> yeah, when you saw that, you're all over the office saying, I wasn't getting one. I want to see that. I want to see what you got in there now. Check out the messy base. It's got a full high top bar down right there. Open that up and get that in real quick. I'll put that back in a second. All right. Those holes did bite to the carpet then? Huh? Those holes did bite to the carpet? Yeah. Hey, um, 
Let him show him how to use the wand. Let him use it. Let him clean. Okay. I told him I want, he he wants to do it, and I told him I was gonna let him when my truck was running. Right. I want to, I want him to get his get some experience running that wand. Nick. Nick wants to clean. All right, Nick. So this is the first time Ultra Steam Carpet Clean has allowed a homeowner to you pull, give him some slack, give him some slack. This is the homeowner cleaning. This is the homeowner, Nick. I'm now, Nick. A better way to do it so, so you won't break your back. Yeah, show him, Justin. The wand is better if it's way tight. Well, us short guys, is at least belly. Short people and tall people world. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do this and just keep your arm. Okay. Right. Take your left. So take the other hand off of the off the handle, off the handle until you get it back to about your waist. There you go. There you go, right there, Ralph. There you go. This is the homeowner's first cleaning time. Now, remember I told you guys, this customer found us on YouTube. So he's watched us, he follows us on YouTube. He shared our videos with his partner, um, his husband, and so I think he's learned a lot of technique watching the YouTube videos. He follows Courtney. He follows Mark Sager. Uh, who else do you follow? Advanced Cleaning System. Advanced Cleaning System. Miles. Oh, Miles. Shout out to Miles at Advanced. Um, Miles, man, your, your your channel is just blowing up, man. Congratulations to you. We love to see this. Uh, we love to see the journey that you're on, man. We, we're, we're watching it, too. So we support Advanced Good Cleaning Systems, it. too. His work ethic is amazing. Um, we have nothing but positive things to say about Miles at Advance. Courtney, Truman Steamers, Mark Sager. We appreciate you too. So, um, look at that. This is a homeowner's cleaning pad, guys. This is what YouTube will get you. <laughs> you guys, you have no idea how awesome this is for us. I couldn't have found a better place to break down. Wow, that is the homeowner's complete cleaning pad. Makai's gonna finish raking. He's already raked over by that couch over there. He's already raked that whole area. And we still have a recliner outside to clean and we're gonna go over that rug too one more time. I think I'm gonna put you on a second truck. What do you think? Hand me the keys and fix the radiator. 
<laughs> Let's get that radiator fixed, you guys. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Nick in another truck. No, we're not gonna fix that radiator. We got AAA. Mark Sager's that band run on Hopes and Dreams? Yeah, Mark Sager. Answer that question for us. That run on Hopes and Dreams, there, sir. <laughs> I think we're going to have to pay this guy. <laughs> wow. So while he's finishing this up, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of how everything looks cleaned and groomed. So this is the cleaned and groomed area. We can still see some yellowing, like I said but it doesn't, it looks nowhere near as bad as it did before. All right, and that's that other bedroom. We're not gonna walk on it. All right, I'm on a hard surface right now. And I'm gonna go out that door right there. Look at this shirt, stand back, this could get awesome. <laughs> hey everybody, do me a favor and share this video. I want, not for us, but for the act of kindness that our homeowner has shown us and demonstrated us. Share this video, like this video. Um, I want, I'd love for this video to go viral. Not for us, again, not for Ultra Team Carpet Clean. But for the homeowner, the homeowner, this kindness, this, this act of kindness that they have bestowed upon us is, has been fantastic. They have fed us. They have made us feel welcome in their home after our van broke down in their driveway. Um, and now I've got a homeowner who aspires to be a carpet cleaner um, running running a wand in his own home. I don't think it gets any better than that. Please, uh, please comment too. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, but please share this video. Let's get this video to go viral just for the act of kindness. I haven't come up with a name for the video yet. Me and the homeowner will talk about it. We'll figure out a way to, to show, um, to get that act of uh, kindness out there, at least as, as well as in the name of the video. I want to name it the right thing. This reminds me too of when I went to visit Mark Sager two or three years ago and I couldn't wait to get to Minnesota. Um, they had a meal for me, Mark and Kurt Sager welcomed me into their home. Uh, they fed me and, and I remember saying, hey, uh, can we clean some carpet? So uh, I couldn't wait, so I know what this feels like, I really do, so we'll be back in a second. Down here, yeah.
two minutes. So finished up this chair. This chair turned out great. You remember how dirty it was? This this was pretty dirty. So we cleaned it. We cleaned the rug. We're gonna get one more walk in. And this is the final room cleaned. Again, we say thank you to our homeowner who was hospitable. Um, kindness is not dead. That's for sure. All right, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.